So let's jump into the kind of leverage universe. T- tell us a little bit about what your favorite heists were, what your favorite uh, costumes were for this season. Uh, give a give us some some details. I can tell you what our favorite song is. <laughs> okay, Ready, so Bethy? Okay. <laughs> Bethy and Elise day on set, on set. Bethy and Elise day on set, on set. On set. So basically, every time we get to work together, we do like a happy dance and we, we it varies. I go out of key because she can sing like a freaking angel. And I, I like to throw a spanner in the works with my shrill voice. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, that said, favorite con. Mm. I oh I got to play someone who was pretending to be well so who was supposed to be pregnant. Um, Parker finds a really creative way to hide um, some <laughs> tools and <laughs> um, a bunch of things in this. Uh, this uh, am I ruining it by saying this? Anyway, that was a lot of fun. I think people are going to get a real kick out of that one. Um, you had a great costume. You have many great costumes, but yeah, it was my birthday on set. We had the amazingly gracious, and I'm not just saying that to to put hot gas in in a balloon, but amazingly gracious actor Aldis Hodge on set on my birthday, and I'm wearing a dress that was made for me. Um, I get to be like a little bit of a, a princess. Can I say that? Oh, yeah, princess. Generally speaking, so that was that was a fun day, um, and then. Yeah, I mean, we, we Bethy had me in 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 some grass with grasshoppers going over my face, and retroactive or retrospectively, that has become one of my favorites. But um, <laughs> nothing like throwing an actor down in the dirty swamp in the middle of the night in New Orleans. I'll tell you what, <laughs> it probably didn't seem that fun at the time, right? <laughs> <laughs> it was a little dicey. <laughs> But don't worry, we had a snake wrangler and a gator wrangler. We were fine. <laughs> oh, a snake wrangler. I would have loved that. <laughs> um, but tell us, why do you think that the um, sort of leverage world has resonated, you know, first with the original series and now with, with this one? Um, wh- why do you think people, um, why do you think audiences love it so much? I think in a time when a lot of... Um, people are saying about how horrible the world is and it's in the news and there's a lot of, you know, really, really heavy things going on across the world. Um, I think having a show that makes you feel a little hope, a little redemption, no pun intended, but a show that makes you feel like there is something that can be done about all the horrible evil happening, you know, it, it, it lets you escape into that mindset for a little bit. And I, I like that people feel uplifted by that. I like that they can laugh, they can get a little teary and at the end they feel a little bit better. So, you know, and something they can do with their family. And I think it just comes at a time when that tone is needed and necessary for entertainment purposes, you know? This show is also unique in the way that all the characters are, the ensemble is vastly different. And it also allows people the chance to, you know, pick and choose their adventure, the eyes through which they they approach something. And that's also a way to like alleviate some of the things going on while still getting that seed of, of important, you know, issues and, and situations that we as a society find ourselves in. Um, yeah, I think people can expect to get, how, how Dean says it, uh, the six feet off the ground experience where the ground is still very much in view, um, but uh, you get a little levity in it as well. Yeah, yeah, it's a very unifying theme, right? It's like everybody wants to see the bad guys taken down. They want to root for the the people getting it done. So I love that quality of the show as well. Yeah. You guys also get to work with a little known actor named Noah Wiley on the show. Mm-hmm. And I was wondering, what was that? Oop. If you had like a Again? Noah moment <laughs> uh, from the season or previous uh, or before. All my Noah moments stand out and they're so particular. I don't think I have a favorite, but there's just a specific moment when Noah pretended to cut his finger and it was nowhere in the script. And then the blood stain, he got with props and the blood stain just got slightly bigger and slightly bigger. And now he's hiding his finger and it's genius. I mean, it's like the stuff that, you know, great actors just use, but stole the whole moment with just going, 
you know, yeah. and I, I, it's just, there's lots of moments like that, that are so smart, so clever, but he does them so lightly, you know, they're not ham handed. Um, yeah. It, it's just a great person to work with. I would say, yeah, I agree. There's when Harry, no, that's not his character. When Harry gets to pretend to be really tough, like that is my favorite or get hurt when he gets hurt and plays it off. Like it didn't hurt. It, there's all those things. Cause Harry's so smart and capable and able and um, all these things. But when he's around Elliot Spencer or in the middle of a con watching the little nuanced moments where you see Harry crack and then he puts the bravado back on. Those are a lot of fun for me to watch. I always get a kick out of it. Hey, Beth and Elise, thank you so much for taking time to talk to us. We're really enjoying season two and can't wait to see the rest of it. Thank you so Thanks much. For having us. Thanks for watching the You Interview channel. With over 3,000 original celebrity videos, we have one of the largest collections of celebrity interviews anywhere. So remember to like and comment on our videos and subscribe to the channel. If you want to get more involved, you can become a member of the channel. Membership has its perks. You can see exclusive celebrity videos and get the opportunity to ask our celebrity guests questions. We can't wait to hear from you.